I have created a project that is a real think about it project which is a green project and is actually one that uh, awarded me a um, prize in an internet contest about five years ago for new ideas for recycling. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making fire starters for the fireplace out of materials that would normally be thrown away. Being green is a variety of behaviors and decisions and options that we have. And some of those are using things that would normally be thrown away, making choices such as using cardboard instead of oil-based plastics, uh, not throwing things away which can be reused because our landfills are filling up and it's getting expensive to throw things away. And otherwise, doing things together as family that are projects that we can all enjoy and enjoy our time together and that actually have a useful purpose. So we're making these fire starters for the fireplace. Uh, it's fall now here in New England and it's starting to get cold and we're going to want to have our fires in the evening to keep us warm. And the materials for this project are all materials that would normally be found in a home and thrown away and not reused. So for instance, this is a cardboard egg carton, just a, a normal egg carton. And these are candle stubs that are from old candles that uh, we have finished using that aren't being used anymore. Um, sometimes uh, I find these at yard sales I go to and you can get them very cheaply. Paraffin, which is what wax is made out of, is made from petroleum. It's made from oil. So just throwing these away I mean, is throwing away oil. So we can reuse those. And the third is the most unusual. This is the filter from our dryer and this is dryer lint on the filter. Now when we dry the clothes, the fibers from the clothes come off on the filter. And what we do is just take this right off, because you have to clean the filter each time, and we just ball it up. And what I do is just put it into one of the egg cups. And the way I prepare these is I'll just take a utility scissor and I'll just cut off this part and just keep that near the dryer so it's ready and as I clean the filter each time I'll just take that put that in there and after a dozen loads uh, we have um, enough lint in each of the egg cups to make something like this if you want to, you can also take the flap, cut those up, and put those into the egg cups as well. Along with the lint, what that does is it helps to make a wick for the wax that we're going to pour into the egg cups on top of the uh, dryer lint. Okay, now we're going to go over here to the stove and take a look at the double boiler, which is what we're going to be melting the wax in. The double boiler is really nothing more than a pot with two inches of water in it. And I put an old tomato can in there, which is where I keep the candle stubs. And then you heat up the pot, and the hot water is what melts the wax in the tin can. You don't want to put a, a container of wax directly over an open flame because that can heat it up too quickly and too hot and that can flame up and cause a fire. The double boiler is a gentle, easy way to melt the wax. It's a little bit slower, but it's a much safer way. I also keep a pot lid handy here and the pot lid can just be put right over the pot in case it does flame, flame up and the, the pot lid will just snuff out any fire. The other uh, safety precaution that I have is I always keep a good fire extinguisher around. And I like big fire extinguishers. I don't like the little fire extinguishers. 
and I keep them in the kitchen, which statistically is where most house fires start anyway, out in the garage, upstairs in the bedroom, and uh, in the basement where fires can also start. So with all of our safety equipment and measures being taken, what we'll do now is put on the fireproof mitt, and we're going to take the wax container out, just letting the water drip off of that, and I'm going to put this here, and with this ladle, which I just picked up at a yard sale somewhere, I'm going to dip the wax out and just pour it into the egg cups over the lint. Now you can do this as dense as you want or as light as you want. I just pour the wax over the lint to make sure it's all covered because the lint really is acting as a wick, much the way that a wick in a candle would act. It just transports the liquid wax up into uh, the flame area for ignition. And let's see, we'll make a couple of these since it's fall and we're going to want to um, have a lot of fires this winter. And while we've got the wax melted, we don't have to waste any more heat. These uh, fire starters, by the way, are a great project to do with your kids. It's a, a nice winter fall project to do. And um, it's a good craft project to do with scouts if you have any scouts in the family. And um, they also make nice gifts. Uh, my wife has in the past taken a bunch of them and put them in a nice basket and when we've been invited uh, over to someone's home we'll take them and she'll put a ribbon on top and we'll have a nice little hostess gift which is uh, something we always enjoy bringing to people because we made it and people do appreciate that. So. We're finished with the wax now. I'm going to put that back into the double boiler. And what I did to prepare was I created uh, one of these and let it cool and let the wax solidify. So the final step to the project is you just take your scissors and you just cut these and when you use these to start a fire, you actually will have enough from one egg carton to start about 12 fires. And what we use uh, to start fires here is just uh, twigs that have fallen down from the trees outside on the lawn. And uh, instead of just throwing those away, what I'll do is I'll just break them up and. Uh, put them in a pail and uh, keep those handy as kindling. I've got a, a little nice little copper container here and I just put these in. Uh, the container, by the way, was from fatwood that I used to buy from a catalog store to start the fires and now I uh, no longer have to buy that but we're recycling the container as well. This is a, a green project that you can do. It will uh, be something that will be useful to you for the rest of your life. It saves you from buying fire starters at the store. It's something that you can enjoy doing with other people and preparing for other people. It gives you, as many of our projects do, a sense of being able to do things for yourself which is something we've gotten away from in this society. Many of us uh, automatically just think about going to the store and buying things when we need them. But with just a little thought and ingenuity and with the idea of being green and, of course, being a frugal Yankee, uh, we can just create things like this and we'll have uh, something to enjoy as a family together.